Hi, everybody. It's Donna and Sherry, and we're here today to talk about doTERRA's essential oils for the skin. Here we are, me and Sherry. <laughs> Aren't we cute? <laughs> we are cute. We are members of the same team, although Sherry lives in Utah and I live here in New Jersey. We met um, because uh, just like seeing each other on Zoom, and then when I came into convention, we found out that we really are best buddies. So uh, we went out for the day in Park City, Utah, before I came back home here to New Jersey, and here we are right here. So just to quickly introduce myself, I am a holistic health coach. I graduated from IIN in 2015, and it's my mission in life to help people feel better. So um, we, we're doing this educational series. We've done a couple of them so far, and just loving doing it and helping everybody out. So now Sherry's going to introduce herself to you. Yes. Um, ditto to everything that Donna said, except I'm not a holistic health coach. Uh, hopefully soon to be, but I'm not. Um, I'm a wellness advocate for doTERRA, and um, without sounding corny, I'm, I am super passionate about the oils and their health benefits and everything that doTERRA has to offer. So um, Donna and I decided we would do these series of classes and just try to focus on um, one issue at a time so it's not too overwhelming for people. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so, you know, because I am a health coach, I insist on like just telling everybody a little bit about the health benefits of our topic. So today I want to talk to you about your skin. So your skin is your protective organ and it's meant to be used for life, obviously, right? So it's why, that's why it's so necessary to take good care of it. Um, so I just want to talk briefly about the nutrition part of our series here. So here's some tips on what to eat and drink for your beautiful, healthy skin. And of course, water. You know, you want to really try and drink filtered water if possible. Um, you know, bottled water, filtered water from your fridge, put it on your sink, whatever it is. Try to drink at least eight glasses a day. And that includes, you know, water from fruit juices, veggies, and milk. Of course, you know, as a health coach, you know, I know that everybody has issues with allergies and food sensitivities. So, you know, you know what to do for yourself, but that's some of the things that you can do, considering also your green tea would be included in that also. Um, selenium, it may prevent skin cancer. Foods with selenium include Brazil nuts, mushrooms, shrimp, lamb, fish, cooked beef, turkey, sardines, crab, and whole wheat pasta. That's just a few guys, but yeah, those are some of the main ones that I wanted to mention today. And your antioxidants, and they exist of colorful fruits and veggies. I mean, how could you go wrong without <laughs> colorful fruit and veggies, right? Um, I actually try to go to the farmer's market once or twice, you know, at least once or twice a month, let's say that, because sometimes we're only two people. Sometimes I tend to go a little crazy and then I just have to <laughs> live on them for uh, quite some time, which is good. Um, so we've got berries, tomatoes, apricots, beets, squash, spinach, sweet potatoes, tangerines, peppers, beans, you know, the nice colorful match there. So colors of the rainbow. Um, all right. So you also want to fight free radicals with COQ10, which can be found in fish, such as salmon and tuna, which I mentioned before. It can also be found in poultry, organ meats like liver and whole grains. Uh, vitamin A is also good to help prevent dry skin. Um, eating oranges, carrots, cantaloupe, and some leafy greens, eggs, and some low-fat foods. Vitamin C helps to undo some of the sun damage to collagen and elastin. Foods to eat are red peppers, citrus fruits, papaya, kiwi, broccoli, greens, and Brussels sprouts. Doesn't this make you hungry, Sherry? It does. It does. <laughs> I think after this summer, I wish I had a nice, healthy lunch. Okay, and uh, vitamin E helps to save skin from skin damage. So vegetable oils, nuts, seeds, olives, spinach, asparagus, and other leafy greens. And I'm almost done with my food lecture. One more slide. Okay, healthy fats, omega-3s, um, olive and canola oil, flax seeds, um, walnuts, cold water fish, such as salmon, sardines, and mackerel. 
Um, also, I wanted to add the flax seeds. It's always good to keep everything moving right along, if you know what I mean. <laughs> it's very important. When you do some dietary changes sometimes, you know, that's one of the first things that'll start acting up is, you know, and it's very important to keep things moving. It makes us all feel better because gut health is so critically important, but that's another topic. Um, good oils are extra virgin olive oil, cold or expelled pressed oils. Um, I like to also use grapeseed oil or avocado oil, also very, very good. When you um, use a saute, it doesn't, um, it cooks better actually than the olive oil. So just for cooking, I use, usually use the avocado oil. Okay, and your antioxidant powerhouse is green tea. Love our green tea. Okay, um, I'm going to turn this over to Sherry in a moment, but I just wanted to say, please note, this class is for educational purposes only. It's not a substitute for care from your professional physician. Always discuss questions with your medical doctor. Okay, Sherry. Good advice. Good advice. Yes. Just to back up a little bit, I didn't want to interrupt you, but I noticed you didn't have coconut oil on there. Oh, and coconut oil is very good. Is Okay, that I just means, wanted to clear because I use a Yes, okay. also, I and mean, like I said, I said avocado oil, but avocados is also a super powerhouse. Super okay. Powerhouse. Eat, eat and enjoy your avocados. There's so many different things you can do with them. Very good. I just want to make sure one of my favorites was in there. Thank you for asking <laughs> that question and pointing that out. Okay, no problem. Okay, my dialogue is hidden down here. What is... Oh, you're going to have to, this is just kind of, um, I'm going to throw this in here okay. um, for those watching, but uh, you're going to have to move my um, my dialogue for me, Donna, can unless you, you want. Can you see it right now, though? Because I have two lines that I can see. Can you see the two lines that are in there? That's all I can see. Okay, I'll move it as you as we go along. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Benefits of essential oils for the skin. Uh, they're natural. They're very safe, soothing, cleansing, and they have purifying properties. Whether you have a rigorous skincare routine that you stick to, or you have to deal with the occasional blemish, essential oils can be extremely beneficial for your skin. As natural compounds taken from the earth, essential oils offer a pure way to care for and maintain your skin. A pure, potent nature of essential oils makes them safe for the skin and can help you avoid the questionable ingredients and toxins that are often found in many commercial beauty products. Chemicals can often have a harsh effect on the skin and affect other areas of your body. By using natural essential oils, you can gently care for your skin without worrying about what you are putting on your body. Essential oils hold soothing, cleansing, and purifying. I'm sorry. Essential oils hold soothing, cleansing, purifying, and even skin perfecting properties that make them ideal for maintain, maintaining healthy, glowing skin. Okay, awesome. All righty. All right, the next slide. Up. Okay, use of essential oils on the skin. Direct topical application. Add essential oils to your favorite cleansers, lotions, moisturizers, etc. Use essential oil infused scare, skincare products. Um, you know, just basically, just to get off the subject for a minute, when I wash my hair, I do use this product right here. This is um, our shampoo. And I actually put a little bit of rosemary oil in there, so it's really perfectly safe to do so. That's because I'm going to menopause right now. My hair is getting a little thin, and it is actually helping per my beautician. So I just wanted to throw that in there quickly before I move on to my little script here. So using essential oils for the skin is extremely easy. You can tailor your essential oil experience according to your skincare preferences, sensitivities, and your everyday routine. There are several ways to enjoy the benefits that essential oils hold for your skin. One simple way to enjoy the benefits, oops, <laughs> of essential oils for the skin 
is through direct topical application. Essential oils can be applied directly to the skin or diluted with the carrier oil like doTERRA's fractionated coconut oil. And I just want to add in here, guys, that actually my skin is super sensitive, so I almost always dilute with the fractionated coconut oil, and it's just as effective, if not even better. Keep in mind that some essential oils should always be diluted before applying to the skin in order to avoid irritation. We will talk about these a little later. Okay, Sherry. Okay. Um, I'm just going to add a little bit to what Donna just said. I technically have sensitive skin. It, it will break out easily. I'm very susceptible to getting sunburn. But coincidentally, I hardly um, ever have to di dilute my oils, except the ones that everybody recommends you dilute. Um, and that just goes to show how individually you have to monitor what you do like donna knows she has to dilute most of hers um i've played around with it and i don't have to so and i have sensitive skin so it's it's a personal um choice yeah, that you I have to tell, i always tell my i'm sorry i always tell my uh, customers to just like try it a little bit on their arm first to make sure like if there's good suggestion. Mm -hmm. no, but I do want to share actually that um, I'll tell you about my cooking accident the other night. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> the health coach who cooks all the time. I did something stupid in the kitchen and I was cooking quinoa and the top of the lid actually went poof and it was quinoa all over the place. And it actually, I had my glasses on, which I don't usually do when I'm home. So they actually protected my eye, except that right here on the top of my eye, I had like a little bit, I felt a little bit of a stinging burn. Now it wasn't red or anything, but I immediately went to the bathroom and I put on straight lavender oil right over the top of my eye. Now, usually they say don't apply to your eye, but this was not anywhere near my pupil where it would go inside my eye. And it's absolutely fine. So, I mean, the, the healing properties of the lavender oil, especially if you experience like a little skin irritation or burn or something like that. It's really amazing. It's really amazing. So I just wanted to throw that in there. <laughs> now that, that uh, you could go on and on about stories that you hear. So it's, it's phenomenal. And by the way, everybody, when you're cooking quinoa and uh, you have a lid that doesn't quite fit the pot and you make sure get the right lid because that's what I did. I had the wrong lid. <laughs> Just <laughs> FYI. <laughs> FYI. <laughs> Has nothing to do with skincare, but yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, safety guidelines. Um, I'll read the dilution ratios first. Uh, dilution, three drops of carrier oil to one drop of essential oil. Recommended use, start with a small dose, one to two drops. This dose can be repeated every four to six hours as necessary. This is super important, you guys. Areas to avoid the skin around your eyes, your ears, and any damaged skin. Um, even some of the milder oils, if you get them in your eye, it's going to hurt. And so you have to be very cognizant of keeping that away from those areas. And if you do, make sure you don't put water in it because water and oil don't mix. So you know, Good point. That will almost oil. make it worse. Yeah, you want to use a little bit of olive oil if you're trying to dilute it or a little coconut oil. Right. I mean, just to tell you a cute little story. Well, it wasn't funny or cute to my husband, but <laughs> I've been doing oils for a few years now. And I'm always telling my kids, my husband, do not get these near your eyes. And my husband had a nasal issue. So I went and got him a little bit of peppermint, but mostly one of our blends, Breathe. And because his head was killing him, he was all plugged up. And I said, okay, let's do this. So I put it in his palm. I said, rub it together, cup it over your nose, and breathe in about five times. He immediately does this. Half of his hand is in his eyes up here. Mm. And he breathes in 
and he just started jumping around the house. And I said, did I not tell you not to put it near your eyes? And he's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So finally, you know, we, we diluted around his eyes and he was fine. But um, you have to listen. You have to pay attention to that. It's, it's not going to do any major damage, but it's really uncomfortable. But within, it wasn't even five minutes. The headache's gone because then I asked him besides your eyes how do you feel he says it's gone I said all right <laughs> so anyway that was not funny for him but it you know it's I tell him all the time it's in one ear and out the other but it's super super important so anyway I um to move on. I, I just want to share that I actually got a bug bite on my eye one time and I was really really worried about it and I knew to be careful you know because not to put it on my eyes so I made a little um, mix up and I think I used some peppermint lavender um, and I put it on my eye like right here with a Q-tip and it stung so bad. I was kind of like Randy, I was jumping up and down, but then I went and I got my coconut oil and I put it right on top. It never went in my eye, but it was just very, very close. And um, actually the bug bite, the swelling went down right away. The coconut oil calmed all that down. And it's just, I mean, they're, the oils are just amazing. You just have to know how to use them properly for your own self. Yes. And safe. Yes. And it's, you know, just don't brush in and assume anything. You know, if you're not 100% sure on application, ask the person that sold the oils to you or um, call, you know, you could call doTERRA. They will tell you. So um, yes. super important. <laughs> to follow that. Um, okay, so the safety guidelines, I just went over dilution, recommended use. Essential oils are safe for the skin. However, as with any kind of essential oil use, it's always important to follow safety guidelines in order to avoid irritation or unsafe use. One of the best ways to avoid irritation when using essential oils on the skin is through dilution. Diluting essential oils is an especially good idea if you already know what you have, or, I'm sorry, if you already know that you have sensitive skin or when using essential oils on children. That's critical, yeah. Uh, doTERRA fractionated coconut oil is a great carrier oil that can be used to dilute essential oils when using them topically. While you can dilute an essential oil if you're trying it for the first time or if you're worried about skin sensitivity, there are several essential oils that should always be diluted. These oils are cassia, cinnamon, clove, cumin, oregano, and thyme. And they will include a letter D in their product description, which indicates they should always be diluted. We refer to these as hot oils. Yes. So um, note on your bottle if you're wondering about that and it will tell you. Yep, very good. Actually guys, also just to uh, tell you um, one, one time very soon in the near future, we're gonna do another uh, web class on essential oil safety. So look forward, coming soon. So yes. which oils should you use? Now that we talked about how wonderful essential oils are for the skin and how to apply them, let's talk about a few specific essential oils that hold a significant benefit for the skin. Some essential oils hold cleansing and purifying properties that can be helpful for keeping the skin clean and free from contaminants. Other essential oils contain soothing elements that can soothe the skin when mild irritations occur. Each essential oil has a different chemical makeup, and some of these chemical elements are known to improve and support the skin. To give you a few ideas, let's talk about some of the best essential oils for skin. So here we've got the cardamom, the ginger, spearmint, and peppermint. Actually, there are, I mean, for all of these oils, especially the peppermint, I mean, it, it goes without saying. I mean, so you could use it for almost anything. I used it for my bug bite. Um, you could use it for a stomach upset. There, there's so, so, so many um, people use it for um, when they have sore muscles. Uh, and then the ginger, of course, is really, really good for a stomach upset. So, all right, let's move on to the next slide. And here we go. 
Okay, skin imperfections. Lavender soothes occasional skin irritations. Melaleuca can be used on occasional skin irritations to soothe the skin. Frankincense reduces the appearance of skin imperfections. Grapefruit improves the appearance of blemishes. Patchouli helps reduce appearance of blemishes and skin imperfections. And helichrysum can be used to reduce the appearance of blemishes. Sandalwood reduces the appearance of skin imperfections. Discuss each of the oils listed on the slide. Talk about, oh, <laughs> I already did that. <laughs> Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry guys, this is the first time we've used this uh, tear sheet. So, anyway. Okay. Um, but, I mean, actually it goes without saying, like we already told you about lavender, right? Um, melaleuca is just, you know, um, people also call melaleuca tea tree oil, mm -hmm. right? Frankincense is, right? Carrie, tell them about frankincense. I mean, there's nothing better than frankincense. Oh, my word. Yeah, there's... You cannot go wrong with frankincense. Um, I... Okay, when in doubt, use frankincense, right? Yeah, and everybody that is an oil lover will say that because it is. It's a little bit more pricey of an oil, but it is worth every penny. You know, I use, you only need to use a drop. So it's really, and when you take that into consideration, you're not spending a fortune on it. It's really worth every penny. It, it is such a versatile oil because you can use it for skin. You can use it for inflammation. Um, on and on and on. It works in uh, tandem really, really well with so many different oils. I, and this is we're going to do a class on animals and I'm going to talk further about this, but I use frankincense, helichrysum and peppermint, which is a um, vasodilator. I have a little dachshund who has a herniated disc who at one point was practically paralyzed. And um, this is one of the things that I help. I treated him to help support his nerve system mm -hmm. and to get things up and running. And he walks now, uh, kind of goofy, but he walks. I and saw him. so he walks around. He looks perfectly happy. Yeah, and the and the frankincense. I is is a frankincense and helichrysum. Just they do so many wonderful things to support the body yeah. and the nervous system and the tissues that. I, I could we could do a class just on frankincense a series because it's so phenomenal. So um, don't and, and you this did. it's out there on YouTube, guys. Mm -hmm. We did do a class on frankincense. Yes, yes, we did, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forget. We're getting really into this and yeah, do it. We're, we do, the we more do. the merrier. So um, we did, we did. Um, so it's out there on YouTube, and you should check it out. It's it has wonderful properties and um, so many different ways to use it. So, okay, you're up, Miss Donna. Okay, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the grapefruit for a second. You know, actually it's also very good for your metabolism. You put, you know, a drop in your water. Um, actually, I was listening to a doctor yesterday and he was saying, very, very interesting to put the oil in your glass first, then pour the water on top of it. Just a little hint from him. So um, just in case you want to, you know, ingest your grapefruit oil or any of the other citrus oils that are really delicious. Um, and the helichrysum I just wanted to mention also, um, it's also very good if you have a very, very deep cut and you put a little bit of helichrysum over it, it kind of, it really does help heal it, that and time. So mm -hmm. one time, you know, paper cut type deal. I got that when I was at the office one day and my colleague actually had some thyme oil and I said, can I use a drop of your thyme oil? And I'm telling you, it, it was amazing. It worked so well. Okay, moving on. Got off the topic a little bit. <laughs> That's well, easy to do. <laughs> Anti-aging. Okay. Um, this is something that, you know, at this point in um, my life, and, you know, my, my friend Sherry, we're about the same age. So this is something that's a very interesting topic to us and near and dear to our hearts. Um, we want to actually age as best we can, and we want to look as best we can while we're doing so. So um, patchouli oil, it reduces the appearance of wrinkles. So, hey, I'm going for it. 
Halicyclum, again, this magical oil here reduces the appearance of wrinkles and it promotes glowing, youthful complexion. Who does not want that? Um, myrrh, actually, you know, when they talk about frankincense, they also talk about myrrh. Frankincense and myrrh um, is very um, biblical. Uh, it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It's actually also very good for skin irritation, so something to take into consideration. Uh, let's see, and it's telling us to discuss this, which we already did. All right, so I guess we move on to the next slide. Yes. Okay, Miss Sherry. Smooth complexion. Who doesn't want a smooth complexion? Um, these oils will contribute to that. Um, or support that, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, coriander, it helps maintain a clear complexion, particularly with oily skin. Clary sage is rejuvenating and very calming to the skin. Geranium helps to promote clear skin. And here's our helichrysum, known for its restorative, <laughs> restorative properties for the skin. Myrrh, promotes smooth, youthful looking complexion. Sandalwood promotes a healthy, smooth complexion. And I don't always pronounce this correctly, yang-yang, yang yang <laughs> I love it, it's a fun word. Um, it promotes the appearance of healthy skin. There's, there's no little on the bottom so I guess we're ready to move on to the next slide but anyway you did a great job doing the description there anyway we <laughs> thank <that>. you <laughs> so um, yeah guys I mean if you guys are interested in learning how to make a blend or something please let us know um, either one of us can help you with that I love to make certain blends as the sherry so both of us can mm -hmm. help you with that anytime okay skin purifying all right Melaleuca as we had mentioned before it's renowned for its rejuvenating and cleansing, cleansing effect on the skin. I actually use Melaleuca when I do hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer also good for your skin. Try to keep away from that Purell, which has got all chemicals in there. You know, um, we will be very happy to make a blend for you and just let us know. Uh -huh. Grapefruit acts like a purifying agent when added to skincare routine. Juniper berry, oh, that's a really good oil. It acts like a natural skin toner, which is awesome. Oh, okay, we don't need to hear from Robert. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I get out of there. Um, spikenard, that's purifying to the skin, and bergamot provides skin purifying benefits. Bergamot is actually a citrus oil, and uh, as is the grapefruit. So I would just like to tell you guys one little warning that they tell us about citrus oils. If you do use them and you go outside in the sun, be careful because it could actually give you a rash when you're out in the sun for 12 hours, right? And so if you're going to go, you know, you're going to go out in the sun, don't put it on 12 hours before. And again, you, this is just a heads up to, to be aware I can wear citrus oil out in the sun and I don't get anything. So diluted or undiluted. Um, I don't have a problem either, but you know, they do warn about that. Because some people do. So it, again, it's a, it's a check it out and just be aware that it could happen and don't think that something horrible is happening because it's a natural uh, reaction in some people. Yeah, actually, you know, as, as a health coach, they teach us we're all bio-individual. So everybody reacts differently to everything that, you know, we put into our bodies. Correct. Okay, skincare products. Okay, okay. so as we've mentioned before, another way to enjoy the benefits of essential oils for skin is to use skincare products that are infused with essential oils. So that's almost like making the blends for you without actually going through the work. You know, they, doTERRA will do it for you, which is great. Yes. doTERRA offers several product lines that include essential oil-based products designed to benefit the skin through the daily skincare routine. So um, today we are going to only showcase the essential skincare system, which is, um, What's the name of this line, Sherry? 
anti-aging line duh <laughs> which is super exciting for ladies our age absolutely but there is absolutely no reason that younger ladies 20 years 15 years younger than us should be using this because it's like preventative and even you know, if we don't use this we have several other skincare lines but today yes. we're just focusing on this one yes and well, donna has volunteered to um actually demonstrate how to do it and i'm going to be your narrator and explain um the different the different products and how they benefit um one thing i do want to say while she's getting ready there is that um clinically supported benefits of essential oil skincare ingredients um, promotes smooth looking skin reduces appearance of wrinkles, minimizes poor appearance, and even tone reduces discoloration, and it keeps skin looking healthy and hydrated. So that's a plus for everybody. So what are you gonna start with first, Miss Donna? Well, I guess we'll start with the facial cleanser. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit on my face. Okay, and I'm going to try to actually show you the product. Um, the you facial know, cleanser. You want to do it like in circles on your face and on your neck. Yes. It smells so good. It has um, melaleuca and peppermint in it. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the reasons it smells so good. It's very refreshing. I feel like it's, you know, not right now because I've been awake for some time, but... In the morning, when you're washing your face, it's like a really good wake up. It's like, oh, wake up. It is. I mean, it, again, it sounds a little corny, but I just like, ooh, I love it. You just feel like mm -hmm. your face is waking up after, you know, a good night's sleep. Well, so it's, it's, it's wonderful. I love it. So, and I always put it on my neck, too, because mm -hmm. let's face it, um, as we get a little older, the neck suffers. You know, we, we don't want to, we want to stay away from that turkey neck. And I really do. I want to say I've been using these products for about a month now. And I want to say that I really feel the difference. I really feel like my skin is getting a little tighter. So. I would second that because I've been using yeah. mine, this anti-aging specifically for over a year. And I really feel like it's helping. And so let me see if there's anything else here I can tell you about this facial cleanser. Um, it is with the CPTG Certified Pure Therapeutic Grade Essential Oils of Melaleuca and Peppermint. doTERRA's facial cleanser gently washes away impurities and leaves your skin feeling clean, fresh, and smooth. Absolutely, I feel awesome. Cruciferous vegetable extracts also work to inhibit skin irritation and protect skin from environment, environmental elements. Macadamia nut oil conditions the skin and proprietary vitamin blend supports overall skin health. So all kinds of good things in there to help your skin. And this is the just step one. Mm -hmm. So Donna is going to move on. Well, actually, we're going to talk about the invigorating rub, which we're not doing today. Right? Okay, okay, yes. Oh, I love this. this is um, if you're not using your facial cleanser, you want to use the invigorating rub because you only do that a couple times a week. Correct. So um, I'll tell you a little bit about that. It, in, it has grapefruit and peppermint oil in it as well. Again, CPTG. Uh, oils make the exfoliating step of your beauty regimen a rejuvenating and aromatic experience. Um, crociferous vegetables leave skin protected and smooth, while other cutting edge ingredients work to prevent irritation and proliferation of skin discoloration. Um, exfoliant action comes from the tiny uh, jojoba beadlets, <laughs> uh, which first exfoliate the skin and then dissolve to provide unique moisturization properties. 
Um, it contains a polyphenol rich brown and red algae extract shown to promote a reduction in the appearance of brown age spots. That is huge, resulting in a more even skin tone and clarity. It's really good stuff, guys. Yep. It's awesome yep. stuff. It just feels so good. Okay, um, next, I guess we move on to the toner, right? Yes, we're going to go to the toner. So I take a little piece of cotton and I'll put a little bit of toner on there. And then again, you want to do the circular motion. Like this. And I try to do it also all over my whole face, of course, avoiding the eyes. I do it on my neck. Right here. And then up like this. Okay, you want to tell them a little bit about the, the toner, Sherry? I would love to. Oh. And I'm going to show you what I did with mine. Before I started using the anti aging, I used our other. Uh, skin line called Virage. They have a really cool spray bottle for their toner. Oh. So I cleaned it out because I love it. And I put my toner for my anti-aging in here. That's a great idea. Because I like to spray it on and then do exactly what Donna did. You know, uh, move it around. Love um, it. That's great. This has lavender, Yangy Lang, <laughs> German chamomile, it's formulated to visibly reduce the appearance of pores. And it also, of course, is CPTG. And it has lavender, glangy lang, and German chamomile combined to calm sensitive skin. It's formulated with marine spring seawater sourced from France with a pumpkin seed extract. This unique ingredient combination creates the appearance of toned and tightened skin. It really does. I feel good. I feel tight. <laughs> Soybean extract is known to promote the appearance of hydrated, healthy skin also. Wonderful toner. I love it. Okay, what are we going to do next? We're going to do eye cream next. We can do eye cream, yes. Okay, so guys, I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying to get into the camera here. But look at this cool little ball. So you're gonna put the eye cream, you, there's like a little pump there, and you're gonna use, you're gonna pump it up, and then the eye cream is gonna come out uh, like this. And then you remember, avoid your eyes, but it goes underneath your eyes here, and you've got that great little roller ball. Let's see to um, just make sure it goes on smoothly. It's amazing. Because usually, you know, like if you have um, a facial done, they always tell you pat, 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 right? Well, here you've got this wonderful little roller ball, which is just doing the job of pat, 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 and it feels good. It's nice and cold to the touch. It's nice. See? Done. Yes, and we just um, added that in as part of the line, and I really don't have any documentation on what's um, in there other than it's a, it's a fabulous product. And relatively new, isn't it, Donna? I believe it is, yes. Just in the last few months. So, unfortunately, I have one of the, the older books. Oh, I have um, a book. I can go over it if you want. Could you? Yeah, because my little book has everything but that. Okay. And that is a phenomenal product. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really amazing. Um, okay, so it's, it's got frankincense, ylang ylang, blue tansy, which is new to our product line, to target the signs of aging around the delicate eye area, helping to reduce the appearance of front lines, fine lines, <laughs> not front lines. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Over time. This innovative formula moisturizes, decreases the appearance of dark circles, and improves skin firmness and tone. And I really feel like, actually, guys, I, mean, I felt like I had like a little darkness around my eyes, and I really feel like it's going away. I'm very excited about that. Unique steel rollerball, which I was just talking about, cools and soothes under the eye skin, helping to reduce the appearance of puffiness and dark circles while gently applying skin cream to targeted areas. It's just amazing. Uh, 
they have this very difficult word here, bakitol, helps to tone and tighten the skin, which helps improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and helps prevent future signs of aging. Bioplumers, polymers, made from collagen and red algae extract provide a noticeable tightening and lifting effect from the first use, and that is very, very true. And uh, they have another whole page here. If anybody's interested, I can take a copy of it and just send it to you because it's got a lot of a lot of words there, so um, I don't want to waste your time. But yeah, this stuff is amazing, and I highly recommend it. Yes, and we are, most of these we're very familiar with, but sometimes the scientists at doTERRA throw these very scientific names in there, yeah. and um, we do the best we can in pronunciation, but yeah. they're important, you yeah. know, important to talk about because it yeah. makes the products so superior that you have to mention. So we're doing the best we can, guys. <laughs> yes, actually, all those couple of those words were a couple of tough ones for this old girl, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. All right, Miss Donna, are you going to go to the tightening serum yes, next? Yeah, I've got it right here. All right. Wonderful product. Um, I'll let Donna demonstrate how she's going to apply, and then I'll tell you a little bit about it. I'm going to put some on my neck yes. again, in very, very gently in circles, okay, just like that. And then I actually like to put it like right here by my smile lines. I'm very happy to say at least they're not frown lines. Right? <laughs> yes. I'd rather have a, a happy line than a frown line. So, but Absolutely. I'm just to try and tighten this up a little bit. And then I also like to put it right here in between my brows. So usually guys, I have my hair down, but for you guys today, I pushed it back with a headband so I could demonstrate what I'm doing here. And remember, always be super gentle on your face, okay? So I usually don't use my index finger. I usually use my middle finger and my ring finger because they apply less pressure. You know, we don't, it's just like a natural way of handling it so good advice miss donna um the cptg essential oils included in this product are our fave frankincense and then hawaiian sandalwood and myrrh in generous proportions doTERRA's tightening serum is scientifically formulated to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and promotes skin hydration the tightening serum tightens and smooths skin with natural extracts and scientifically proven ingredients for firmer, younger looking skin. Yahoo! Everybody wants that. It, it contains, and I believe this is the same word that Donna um, struggled with, so I'm probably going to slaughter it too. Uh, rhizo, uh, rhizobinian, something like that. Um, we need to look that up, Donna. Um, Dr. Google will probably help us with that. So Yes. <laughs> uh, Keisha gum and proprietary, proprietary oat ex extracts, which promote immediate lifting effects. I feel it, guys. I feel I yeah. feel So this is a wonderful, like wonderful product. Um, I I think this might be a good time to talk about Immortal. Okay. Um, Donna, I believe, has a bottle to show you. I used all of mine. I haven't ordered another one yet. It is. Wonderful. This is great. Phenomenal product. This is also good for wrinkles. And I just want to add in one little thing that um, actually my doctor just tested me recently for our pre skin cancer. So, you know, he did the little zap of me you know put a little hole in my neck and after it was healed and i do this every day now i take a little bit of immortal and i put it right here and he told me yesterday when he examined me that everything looks good so whatever was there is no longer there i think that this also helps with that it's also very very good for um you know for helping skin irritations and you do with it what you want, but I believe in the powers of these oils and I am going to continue using this on my body where I have a lot of sun damage. So I will continue using this in my sun damage spots. It's great stuff. 
And this is kind of just a random story. One of my uh, attendees to one of my classes was saying that she used, started using the Immortal for skin and she was applying it in the jaw area. She went to her dentist and for her annual checkup and I mean, she wasn't applying it for any reason in her mouth, gum issues or whatever. If this was all for skin and he asked her if she had changed any of her routines as far as caring for her teeth and she said, no, I am starting to use this Im Immortal on my face. He says, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because evidently it was going into her skin and improving the appearance of her, her gum line, oh. and her gums in general. So you never know, you know, it, it has, these oils are so phenomenal. They have so many different uses um, that you think you're treating just one thing and it's actually, or not treating, but you're supporting one part of your body and it's supporting another part. So it's a win-win anyway. And remember, guys, this is a blend, so you don't have to worry about diluting it. It's already diluted. It's a blend. Yeah, good point. Um, it has frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, and rose in it. Oh, rose. It's, it's a proprietary blend, powerfully renewing rare essential oils that are used throughout history for their beautifying benefits. It's formulated to promote younger looking skin. This unique blend of essential oils helps to sustain smoother, more radiant and uh, youthful looking skin, reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and lastly helps the appearance of aging skin. Great. So that is Immortal. And I believe Donna is now going to apply some moisturizer. Okay. The anti-aging moisturizer. Yes. And she's going to demonstrate how she does it. It's got a nice little squirt thing there. I usually put three squirts on mine. Well, actually, how many do you well, use, Donna? Time. Yeah, I do one at a time. And I just kind of like this. Oh, okay. Pat, 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 pat very nicely on my cheeks over my nose squirt number two on the other side pat 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 it just absorbs right into your skin it's that it does nice. not greasy anything it's wonderful you don't have to worry about that and then lastly i do my forehead again you know i don't want to have those frown lines I just want to make <laughs> lines a day so, all right, so I, now, like I said, I do pat, 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 because that's what I was taught to do when somebody told me to do facials. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, none of that, you know, vigorous rubbing. We don't want that. No, you just like I said, it just, it, it's, it's right now, it's totally absorbed in my skin. I feel nothing. No Wonderful. And let me see if I can tell you anything else. Additionally, it has lavender, jasmine, geranium and frankincense smells wonderful oh it does it it's um another one of those like with the facial cleanser you apply this moisturizer and it's just oh makes makes you just feel wonderful it does um, the moisturizer targets visible signs of aging by improving tone reducing appearance of wrinkles and help to help skin look young and vibrant it incorporates patented hydrolonic acid there's one of those science words it's a unique encapsulation of high molecular weight acid to reduce the appearance of wrinkles it's wonderful well, that's so my scientific word wonderful and amazing <laughs> Now, we also have another hydrating cream. Mm -hmm. right. I'm not sure. Donna, do you have one of these? I do, right here. Okay. Well, we can uh, that. apply that. I also do the same thing. I'm a little bit more liberal with the hydrating cream. And again, I just pat, pat, pat on my face. Is that the way you do it, Sherry? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how I put mine on. I go over my mouth. You know, again, you want to protect those lines, those smile lines, so sensitive. 
keeping away from my eyes. And yes. I, I usually do about three pats of this also. Just to, you know, and then I let it dry. And then I go through my regular makeup routine. So it really, I mean, I'm not a person who fusses much in the morning. So, uh, but this does not take a long time to do. It takes literally a couple minutes. You know, I, I'll start to fuss then, like I'll put my lipstick on and, and maybe do my eyes. And then I'll go on to do, you know, like my cover up and my, a little bit of blush. And then I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. When you have nice looking skin, it's easier to do that. <laughs> It is, but you know, with the help of these products, I mean, we're, we're going to be just all set to go. And just briefly, um, this hydrating cream has lavender, jasmine, geranium, and frankincense. And it, it has something called MPC or milk peptide complex that's made up of activated natural signaling molecules that assist natural components of the skin which sounds kind of scientific, but um, it, it's a, a great support system for your skin. Cocoa seed butter is a natural, I'm sorry, a nutrient rich emollient that keeps the skin looking hydrated in addition to acting as a protective conditioning agent that supports your skin. And then lastly, urethyrol provides moisturizing properties to the skin. This is great. So guys, I mean, just quickly, this isn't part of our routine, but when I was grabbing all my stuff this morning, I just wanted to show you guys the, um, I actually, for part of my morning routine, I use my On Guard toothpaste, which I really, really love. It's got a good taste. It's got a lot of the On Guard in there, a lot of cinnamon and clove, which is great for your gums. And then when I'm done, I actually put a drop of On Guard oil in some water, and I rinse my mouth out with that. I'm a person who has, um, I was cursed with really bad, weak teeth. <laughs> um, my father had great gums, great teeth, um, but he had a problem with um, the, the format. He like didn't have his tooth over here, tooth over there. I inherited that, but I inherited the bad gums from my mother. So I got the bad from both ends, um, which is okay. It's the luck of the draw, but you know, you, what you, you do with what you have, okay? So I'm using these products in hopes of keeping my gums nice and healthy, and so far, so good. And this is just the hair products, which I guess everybody, you know, knows. The shampoo, the conditioner, the um, serum is great. And then we've got the, um, the glaze. That I, This is part of my morning routine, so I just wanted to go over it quickly. So if you have any questions on that, just let me know afterwards. I don't want to hold up the class, but I just wanted to mention that quickly. Thanks, Donna. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure thing. All right. So next, we're not going to keep you guys too long, but next we have some nice little thing, do-it-yourself items to share with everybody. Um, this is all like if you, this is from doTERRA's, and if you want, you can go on to the blog. So this one here, for more ideas on how you can create and use essential oils for your skin, you can visit our blog. They have dozens of skin and do-it-yourself items that are easy enough to make at home. And if you're interested in homemade foot scrub, mud mask, uh, sugar scrubs, soaps, and more, the doTERRA product blog has plenty of these. And Sherry and I went to the Liberty. We picked out a couple each. And I think the first one is uh, Sherry's pick. Okay, so I'm just going to really quickly go over this. And you can... Um, as you, if you're interested in, in getting the ingredients and whatnot, you can just go in and do the replay or get your little camera out and, and take a picture. But it's, as you can see, it's strawberry, sugar, coconut oil, fractionated coconut oil, and um, vanilla, and lime. And you put all of these in a large plastic bag, um, add the strawberries, crush with a rolling pin, um, and the, sh and the sugar you put into a large bowl. Um, it's a soup, as you can see, the directions are super easy. You can do it very quickly. And this one smells heavenly between the strawberry and the lime. Um, I make their scrubs all the time and use them. I give mm -hmm. them as gifts. Yeah, that's great. And they're just, they're phenomenal. And they're 
obviously all natural and your skin loves it. So um, again, you can go to the blog and check out this one as well as others. Or if you want to, um, you know, actually try this, you can go back and, and Donna and I are going to post this in, in YouTube and you can go in and, and check it out and actually try it yourself. So um, I just, I love the smell. I love the look. So I wanted to share at least that one. And I think Donna's got one for you. Oh yes, makeup remover wipes, awesome. Okay. Now, you know, this is just, I mean, you know, all the chemicals and stuff that they have in the makeup remover that we usually use, I think that it's a great idea to use the oils. And witch hazel is a great astringent. Um, and then you have your fractionated coconut oil, which we all love, water, melaleuca, and a roll of towels or wipes. I mean, it's that easy, guys. I mean, you know, they talk about um, cutting a roll of paper towels in half and then you can just kind of roll it out. I don't find that to be as useful as, you know, if you buy the paper towelettes and then you could just pull it up. That, but that's just a matter of choice. But right. this is a great natural way of removing your makeup. And I'm just blowing it up a little bit so you guys can see because it was kind of hard to fit everything on the slide. Okay, Sherry, here's your facial mask. Oh, facial mask, clay facial, facial mask. This one, um, I think of this as the lavender. It has a couple other oils in it, but it's, it's wonderful. So this is my lavender clay mask. Um, you can get, uh, you use two teaspoons of betonite clay, which can be purchased at your local um, health food store. So it's easy to find apple cider vinegar, which most people have, or it's very easy to get at your, your local store. Apple cider vinegar is, Pardon me? Apple cider vinegar is so healthy. It's like one of the best staples out there. It's inexpensive and super, super healthy. You can even ingest it. It's very good for your metabolism. Absolutely. Sorry, I just had to throw that no, in. No, jump, jump in anytime because <laughs> we're the more information, the better. Uh, a drop each of frankincense, lavender, and melaleuca. You combine the clay and the vinegar in a bowl. Stir until combined. Um, they give you a tip for a thicker mask. Add an additional half a teaspoon of clay. Um, then you add your oils. Apply to clean skin and let dry for five to 15 minutes and rinse with warm water. Voila, a mask. Mm -hmm. Okay, next. Okay, we got the makeup brush cleanser. Now this is something that I, you know, I love to, I use my makeup brushes a lot, so they get dirty. And you know, it's really important. I mean, you, you've got, you know, nice clean skin, you just did this beautiful facial, and then you use a dirty brush on your face, really. It just doesn't make sense, right? So um, this is the ingredients to make it. You use your fractionated coconut oil, melaleuca oil, and grapefruit oil. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to add them all together. I'm going to swirl the makeup brush in the fractionated coconut oil for 30 seconds until you see the makeup stored on your brush start to come out. And you rub it in a circular motion on the palm of your hand to help get the makeup out. And then you rinse the brush under warm water. And you gently squeeze it. Let it dry. Um, it's saying here, note, make sure um, the points of the bristles are down when running the water. If you do it up, it's going to ruin the brush. So they're just telling you to be careful with that. Mm -hmm. And let your newly cleaned makeup brushes dry for a day, four hours on a towel, and repeat once a month as needed. Uh -huh. And that's all also on the blog, so um, pretty easy. Okay. Bronze. Okay. The last one that I found, which I thought was kind of fun, is a bronzing lotion stick. Um, beeswax, butter, coconut butter, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E. And um, as far as making it, you, you add everything together. There we go, Donna. Oh, shea butter. Sorry. Stir ingredients until combined, which is about five to ten minutes. And then, there we go. Then you go, uh, once melted, you remove the above ingredients from heat and you let it rest for about three minutes. And then you add your oil and stir and pour into a container. Um, for a bronzing lotion stick, you use the next step as well, which is you add a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and stir it in there. 
pour into the container and let cool for one to two hours before use. Use a popsicle stick for easy cleanup. Awesome. Yeah. Going to sugar scrub. I mean, lip scrub, I'm sorry. Sugar lip scrub. That's something there that we go. I pulled out. Um, this is nice. You can use brown sugar, virgin coconut oil, three teaspoons of honey, two drops of peppermint, and two drops of wild orange, two of my favorite, favorite oils in the world. This recipe makes a little less than a quarter cup. Either portion out the mixture into several airtight containers or adjust the recipe to fit the container that you have. If you just mix them all together in a small bowl, you add the desired oils, stir in the ingredients, pour the contents into a container of your choice, and apply to the lips as needed. You know how chapped your lips will get, and especially this time of year, um, Utah and also here in the Northeast. I mean, people who live in Florida and warmer clients from California climates. Um, they don't have these type of problems, but unfortunately for <laughs> Carrie and I, <laughs> we do. <laughs> yeah. And one thing I was going to add too on these items that you're making, um, I personally like to put everything that I make in glass containers. Yes. So you don't have the oils uh, seeping into plastic. They just um, very important, and they have they, yeah. different containers actually. Um, I might have one here to show you. I have a couple here to show you guys that I use. Um, this is one that's got a sugar scrub in it. Actually. There you go. And then here's an empty one. I got this in Ikea. And it's the perfect size for, you know, like you want to just give away a nice little gift to somebody. So these are all both glass though. So Yes. Just preserves the product better and um, just all around better. Hey, Sherry, you want to start talking about how everybody can get these wonderful products? Yes. Um, how to start. Um, get the best deal for your needs and start with an organized enrollment kit. And we're done and are going to go over a couple of the kits that you can get. Um, these kits include a wholesale membership. You get more product for less. Some include free product points and some give higher rewards points. And um, if you're interested, unless Donna wants to explain this in, in depth, um, it's super easy. Um, it makes the most sense to uh, sign up and get a wholesale membership because you're gonna get wholesale prices. Um, we have another option for um, uh, loyalty rewards which uh, we would be more than happy to explain to you if you want to go that route. But at the very minimum, I think the wholesale uh, membership is very similar to a Costco uh, membership. You're going to pay $35 a year the first year. And then every year consecutively, it's only $25. It drops $10 and you get a free, free bottle of peppermint. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. And you, um, you can you get all of your products at wholesale, which is a significant savings. And so was, is there anything else you wanted to add to that, Donna, or? I do, I wanna talk about the LRP advantages because when you have LRP, you accumulate points and then you get so much great free stuff. To tell you the yes. truth, I got my whole skin system on my LRP points, which was nice. It was my Christmas present to myself and it didn't cost me anything. <laughs> Yeah. I know I just recently this week I had some points that I hadn't used and I went and uh, picked up a bottle of uh, DDR prime yeah would um, blend that we have free yeah. $55 done wow. so it's I, I'm glad um, Donna mentioned that Great benefits. so this I'm gonna explain two kits to you that are fairly new with doTERRA and they make so much sense. These are, um, you have to be on the LRP to, to do this, um, but it's, it, it just makes so much sense. Um, you get, we have a supplement line called Lifelong Vitality. I've been taking them for several years now and they're phenomenal. And we can, we can explain in, in length about that. 
but as Donna mentioned, your foundation for your skin and really starts from the inside out. You know, eating correctly as, as often as possible, hydration, and a good supplementation program, which I've never found one better than this. And I'll never go to anything else because it's just, it makes me feel phenomenal. And it addresses so many um, and is so supportive of so many systems in your body. So this kit is, if you're going to start out with a skincare kit, this makes so much sense because it gives you a 30-day supply for your supplements and then the entire kit that we talked about today um, with the facial cleanser, the invigorating scrub, the toner, the moisturizer, and tightening serum. Um, retail this would go for about $240, wholesale $180. So it's a no-brainer. It's this is a really good deal. This is a really, really super good deal. A <laughs> really good deal. And guys, about the lifelong vitality, we did a actually healthy you, healthy, healthy clean and cleanse, right? We just did a clean and cleanse. Which yes, we did. Mm -hmm. The lifelong vitality line. They need to remember the name of our class, but it's actually also out there on YouTube. So if you want to know a little bit more about the vitamins, we, you know, we go in depth on that. Yes. Okay, Sherry, here's the next A little one. too much info to uh, insert into this series, but okay, it's... No, 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 we don't want to bore you guys. We'll go to <laughs> We're just going to tell you it's phenomenal, and it is. Uh, the next kit, uh, this is brand new, and... It's called Customizable Essential Skin Care. And this is a phenomenal offer because you have um, your kit, which includes the facial cleanser, the scrub, the toner, and the tightening serum. And then you can customize with two extra products um, at significant savings. And you get to choose from either the uh, eye cream, the moisturizer, the hydrating cream, or the brightening gel. So you can add any two of those to this kit. Um, retail, 120, wholesale, 90. That's a really good guy, really, really good deal. So, so I, I wanna make sure that you understand, um, if you buy this, it's 120 and then the other two products would be an additional fee, but it's going to be significant savings. We have the same sort of um, option when you buy the Lifelong Vitality um, and you can buy um, enzymes, you can buy like six or seven different additions and mm -hmm. some of them are like almost $40 and you can get them for 20 if you yeah. buy the Lifelong Vitality. So it's, this is the same sort of setup, but it's with the facial products. It's, it's phenomenal. And actually, Sherry, um, I'm sorry, but you said 120, that's retail. It's 90 at wholesale. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep, you're right. Hey, you're well, right. Everybody knows I could save that extra 30 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a minor detail. I mean, a major detail, not no, minor. No big deal. I just wanted to say it. No, I'm glad you saw that. That's why we do this. You know, it's a lot different coming from this side, then you know what I mean? When you say it yourself, believe me, I get it. <laughs> so next is, I just wanted to quickly let you know that there's two other very popular enrollment kits, just in case you're not interested in using the skincare line, but you want to do something with the oils. And these include the 10 most popular oils that are out there. This kit here that's over on the left, I'm pointing to it like you can see, let me do it with the cursor. Um, this one also includes, um, a diffuser, right? And the bottles are much bigger. And then this one right here, this is our family physician kit. The bottles are a little bit smaller and it also comes with two beadettes. One's a peppermint beadette and one is a um, on guard beadette. And a beadette is this little tiny, I think it's a half a drop of oil and it comes in like a little um, digestible capsule and you can just put it in your mouth and it dissolves. And if you've got a little bit of a bellyache, you can put it, it just dissolves and you feel that hit of peppermint, even for sore throat, it's good. And the On Guard, of course, it's also good for the same thing for a sore throat or if you feel like you've been um, 
exposed to somebody with germs. You can just pop one of those in your mouth. Blue, <laughs> which is just, this is the season right now and it's really bad. The flu season so. is terrifying. So um, just wanted to mention, you know, if anybody's interested in that, um, if you use these two kits, your $35 fee is waived. It comes along with your membership. And we'll just let us know if you have any interest in that, okay? Um, so lastly, last but not least, we would like to thank you for attending our class today. Um, my information is here as well as Sherry's. Uh, you can contact me at 201-280-8155 or my email is coachdonnaby at gmail.com. And Sherry is Sherry Lohman, 916-200-6413 is her phone. And her email is sherrylohman at gmail.com. Don't forget to tell, like I did once before when I was sending her an email. Um, so because otherwise, then you won't be able to get a hold of her. So, but you've always got the phone number. So please, if you have any questions, please contact us. And again, thank you so much for attending our class and uh, look for us on YouTube. Yes, thank, thank you guys. Bye. Oh, shoot. I ended the meeting. <laughs> uh, it's not video, there we go. Stop recording.